My name is Lynn Bickoff and I, I paint contemporary landscapes. And when I was thinking about what inspires me to create art, um, I think it goes way back to the 60s when I migrated here from England with my parents. And Australia is just such a beautiful place. And initially I didn't want to come. When I got here, it was just paradise. So I spent a lot of my time down the beach exploring the coast or up the mountains. So in the rainforests, climbing, the escarpment at the back of us and I've lived in a, in a lot of places that have been along the escarpment and so I think that's what features quite heavily in my work is places I've been because I tend to think back to memories of where I've been and what um, what touched me about that place and the connection I felt to it being for instance this one was um, at the back of Walker and when you get up there you just get the sense of air and space out over the, at the treetops and the birds and, and it was just such a, a beautiful place and I, I think Australia is just such a, a raw primal place especially the outback which is um, these paintings here are from the outback and I lived up there for about a period of about five years and initially I just thought well there's nothing here but then after a while it just grows on you and you come to appreciate the beauty and the richness of the minerals that are up there that are actually fueling the food that keeps these animals alive that you think how can they possibly live in that paddock there's nothing there but they just thrive and so it's just an amazing place. Killer painting Fire and Ice was um, inspired I went up to Mount Hotham and just driving up there and the, the way the landscape changes from down and below and then you, you head up and they're just such striking mountains and you know the way it's all formed and the reason I called it Fire and Ice was just thinking about how mountains get formed and the volcanic activity that initially had created it and then now we have these beautiful peaks that are full of ice and snow. Uh, what I like to do too is I like to use mixed media because I like a lot of ink work because you get the vibrancy of colour and that's sort of in this one here it's the Whitsundays and so you've got these beautiful inks through here that actually depict the, the beautiful colours in the water that there is up there. And what I do throughout my paintings is I'll use whatever media reflects best the um, qualities that I'm trying to bring out or the essence of that landscape. So, for instance, the soaring one with the birds, that was um, done in oils because it, was, it gives you that softness. And then the mixed media, like we needed the richness here for the water and so, Whatever, whatever painting you're going to do, you sort of use whatever media is appropriate for that. But what I'm trying to get through with my paintings is, is how I feel about the land. And so it's more of an emotional reaction for me. And I'd like to think that people standing and viewing my work would hopefully get a connection as well. And if, if you can get that, that's just really, truly satisfying to have somebody go, wow, I've I've been somewhere similar to that and I felt like that too, so that's, to me that's incredibly satisfying.